Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for January 2nd. My name's Craig from Denny, Scotland. A thoughts for the day. Faith. When I was driven to my knees by alcohol, I was made ready to ask for the gift of faith, and all was changed. Never again my pains and my problems notwithstanding would I experience my former desolation. I saw the universe to be lighted by God's love. I was alone no more. It's Bill W. Letter, 1966, as Bill sees at page 51. Thought to consider. Sorrow looks back, worry looks around, and faith looks up. Acronyms. Faith. Finding answers in the heart. Just for today. Allergy. From it might have been worse. The explanation that alcoholism was a disease of a twofold nature, an allergy of the body and an obsession of the mind, cleared up a number of puzzling questions for me. The allergy we could do nothing about. Somehow our bodies had reached the point where we could no longer absorb alcohol in our systems. The why is not important. The fact is that one drink will set up a reaction in our system that requires more. That one drink is too much and a hundred drinks are not enough. Fourth edition, Alcoholics Anonymous, page 355. Daily Reflections First, the foundation. Is sobriety all that we can expect of a spiritual awakening? No, sobriety is only a bare beginning. As Bill sees at page 8. Practicing the AA program is like building a house. First I had to pour a big thick concrete slab on which to erect the house. That to me was the equivalent of stopping drinking. But it's pretty uncomfortable living on a concrete slab, unprotected and exposed to the heat, cold, wind and rain. So I built a room on the slab by starting to practice the program. The first room was rickety because I wasn't used to the work. But as time passed, as I practiced the program, I learned to build better rooms. The more I practiced and the more I built, the more comfortable and happy was the home I now have to live in. As Bill sees it, in God's hand. When we look back, we realise that the things which came to us when we put ourselves in God's hands were better than anything we could have planned. My depression deepened unbearably, and finally it seemed to me as though I were at the very bottom of the pit. For the moment, the last vestige of my proud obstinacy was crushed. All at once I found myself crying out, If there is a God, let him show himself. I am ready to do anything. Anything. Suddenly the room lit up with a great white light. It seemed to me, in the mind's eye, that I was on a mountain, and that the wind, not of air, but of spirit, was blowing. And then it burst upon me that I was a free man. Slowly the ecstasy subsided. I lay on the bed, but now for a time I was in another world. A new world of consciousness. All about me and through me, there was a wonderful feeling of presence. And I thought to myself, so, this is the God of the preachers. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 100, and AA Comes of Age, page 63. The Big Book Quote Everybody knows that those in bad health and those who seldom play do not laugh much. So let each family play together, or separately, as much as their circumstances warrant. We are sure God wants us to be happy, joyous and free. Alcoholics Anonymous, Family Afterwards, page 132. 24 hours a day. A thought for the day. What makes A work? The first thing is to have a revulsion against myself and my way of living. Then I must admit I was helpless, that alcohol had me licked, and I couldn't do anything about it. The next thing is to honestly want to quit the old life. Then I must surrender my life to a higher power, put my drinking problem in his hands and leave it there. After these things are done, I should attend meetings regularly for fellowship and sharing. I should also try to help other alcoholics. Am I doing these things? Meditation for the day. You are so made that you can only carry the weight of 24 hours and no more. If you weigh yourself down with years behind and the days ahead, your back breaks. God has promised to help with the burdens of the day only. If you are foolish enough to gather again that burden of the past and carry it, then indeed you cannot expect God to help you bear it. So forget that which lies behind you, and breathe in the blessings of each new day. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may realise that, for good or bad, 
past days have ended. I pray that I may face each new day, the coming 24 hours, with hope and courage. From Hazeldean Foundation, PO Box 176, Centre City, MN 55012. This is Transitions Daily. My name is Craig and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc. 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.